Hi, welcome to Crafted Sweetly. I'm Diana. Thanks so much for being here. In this video, we're going to do a photo strip pattern. Um, it's going to be a little different than the previous ones I've done, and you can check those out in the uh, link in the description box or just go to my channel for the additional videos with the photo book art. So for this one, and this image I got off um, Creative Fabrica, I'll link it below as well in case you decide you want to do a different project with it, not necessarily book folding with it. So, um, you know, obviously this lends itself to lots of different designs if you choose to do so. Um, for this one, what I'm going to do is it's going to be a combi pattern and I've already started the book, but I wanted to show you I'm basically at this stage, like right about here with the book. So I've done all of these pages and this is where I've kind of um, started taping just so I can show you this process here. Um, what I'm going to do is it's a combi pattern so all of this part gets folded away and then um, this part the outer ring is going to be raised and then this will be an indentation so it will be almost like um, an inverted cut and fold an any I guess um, where this part is going to be farther down but it will still have the image to it. So I'm going to cut the pattern along this gold border out here. So um, the gold part will be part of the raised edge because I wanted it to I wanted the blue to be kind of it almost has a shadow effect in here as well. So that's going to be lower into the book. So once I got to the blue area, this is where I'm cutting. So I'll show you um, the process. Now I've printed the page out. I won't go through this part of the, the tutorial. I printed the pages out with the ink saver. I trim the top off, which is what I usually do with it. And I do leave the bottom on. Now you can certainly trim the bottom off as well in one swoop. Um, but I like to leave them on just in case I scramble them or um, my dog knocks over my board or something. So I'd rather have the numbers at the bottom and then just trim as I go along. But, you know, obviously do it in whatever works for you as far as the process. Um, then I've cut out all the strips. So the strips themselves look like this. I have all the strips cut out. That's why I have these over here in case things get out of order, but I do have them all cut. And sometimes I score them, sometimes I don't. In this particular um, instance, I did not score them previously, but this is the strip. So I have, let me grab this board. I have them already folded in half right here. And I'll just take, basically I'll take one of the strips if you haven't seen me do this before, where I just take this and gently fold the two together. It doesn't take very long, but scoring does make it just a bit faster. Once I have it like this, then I will use a bone folder. Move this out of the way a little bit. And then just run it across so that I have a crisp edge to it right here. It's almost like a blade. Okay, so that would be my way down the line one. But right now, um, I'll show you the, the steps, what I'm doing with it. So I'm taking the strip, and like I mentioned, I'm going to cut where the blue is, and then where the blue starts and where it ends. So what I do is I'll put the strip down on the book, to just more for as a guide to kind of know where I need to put the double-sided tape. I'll, I'll do the top and the bottom. Uh, okay, well this one it ran out, which is perfect timing because I can show you exactly what I'm doing with it. Um, I love this brand. If I can open it here. Okay, here we go. And what's nice with this brand is that you don't have to throw out the entire thing. You just replace this part. So this part comes off. This is all you're tossing instead of the encasing as well. And then I just buy the refills. Put it down on here and close it. And you've got a, another um, double-sided tape roller. Some of the other ones you have to throw out the whole thing and then get another one. I, at least I saved the plastic there and there's not so much. 
so there's tape at the top and at the bottom so let me put this back here um, just for my guide purposes double-sided tape top and bottom and then also where I'm going to cut because if I don't put any here this is gonna be loose so I'll add a little bit of tape there and then also once the blue is over I'll add a little bit of tape here and that'll secure these sections at this point I'm going to put my strip on as usual it slides along the page I make sure this is flush on this end completely so I hold my finger and press it down and then push in against the page and press down okay so at this point I've it's just the usual photo strip adding to the page I'll trim this part off and now um, these two it's going to become a combi so I want to fold away this part and this part if you can see this is white right here and white right there because these are so tiny I'm going to add a little bit of tape otherwise it's not going to stay and what I do is I use my fingernail to mark it exactly what I want the fold to turn over if I just do it without that you know sort of like this it might go elsewhere so I find that this helps where and I don't need to get another tool where I'm just going to put my fingernail and I didn't add any tape on this side so let me do that whoops and then fold over okay now some of the previous pages and I'll show you that in a second um, were farther folded in but these were just the little tabs now like I said now we need to cut because the inside this part I want farther in so I'm going to cut if you can see that's where the blue starts and I will cut the blue right just where the, the depth of the strip is you can cut it deeper if you'd like um, but I or, or less if you want also but I use this as a guide and that way everything is even um, and then where it ends so now this part I'm saving because it's gonna go right back on here I'll just fold it it's not scored but it folds fine right now you could certainly if you're doing it for less you could use uh, like like the 180 guide to um, the tool so that you can score it before you fold but I find this works fine I'm going to add just a little bit of double-sided tape there so this stays put and now I want to attach this just like I did here so I'm going to add a little bit of tape here and here and this goes right on top of that strip okay same thing you want to make sure it's flush or completely against the page and you press it down so now it became where the image is in two sections you know it's not just out and then the outside is white and folded in now we're actually applying design to the folded part so I'll do one more page quickly just so you can see the process for that one okay so that was another page right there now I'll show you the progress thus far just so you can see where things stand okay there we go so now as you can see this part is cut out but there's image on the lower part and you're gonna see that even more so once I get more into the circle part and then the up the area up top is folded in to create that combi effect okay all right so I'm gonna continue with this as I usually do in my videos um, I'll continue and then kind of check in maybe um, when I'm three quarters of the way just so you can see more maybe halfway through so you can see how this part looks once it's indented okay at this point I finished quite a few more pages I'll add one more strip just to show you exactly what I'm doing here so I'm kind of following the pattern and keeping an eye on where I need to cut and I'm still following that gold border around the image
Okay, and that's what this area looks. Now here there's no fold in because I have the design going all the way to the edge of the book. Now if the whole design was farther in then I'd continue the combi fold here, but my combi is actually just on the outer part of the book. So let me fix these couple pages that kind of nested within each other, which you'll find that that happens. You could add double-sided tape to both sides, but I don't really think it's necessary. Just a little bit of uh, fixing and squeezing it together and then it's all fine. All right, and then this is what it looks like so far. So I have the combi fold here and then you can see that this aperture is being cut out and then creating the image inside here. Okay, so this was just like a pit stop here just to show you a little bit the progress so far. I'll finish these rest of the pages and then show you the finished design. Okay, I finished the book and I just wanted to show you the finished design. And as you can see, it has the combi design here. The image did go almost to the top of or did go to the top of the book. That's why you don't see any of the combi effect that you see here right at the top in this area. But this is what... The design looks like so it's pretty cool i like the indentation here it almost frames everything and um you know again you can see the steps of how the image was cut to create the opening i haven't attached this i haven't i usually do a support thing at the bottom so that it stays closed at the particular aperture that i want it but I just wanted to show you the finished design as it is now. I won't go into detail about this. I do have a video for uh, reinforcing the bottom to keep it in a particular position. I have also set up an Amazon um, storefront. I thought it might be easier to list all the products that I use there versus you know, trying to look through the various um, videos as far as what I'm using. And some of the things do change as I work on projects. I may find the product that works better than I had been using previously. But um, in my Amazon storefront, which I will link below, you'll find all the, the tools that I use right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, as usual, please comment below or join my Facebook group. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next project.